and we are live. Howdy, howdy, howdy. I know there's not a damn person in here yet, but we're going to be trying this international snack box. It was a gift for me from my aunt. She bought me a subscription to it. Shout so, out, Aunt Sarah. So we're going to try that, and we're also going to try it this bundle of Mexican candy mix. Uh, it's supposed to be some like candy and snacks and stuff in here. I'm not sure if it gives any descriptions on anything in here and uh, not sure how much of it she's gonna like because she hates anything spicy and doesn't eat mango. And I think there's a lot of- I'm allergic, okay. Anyway, I don't think uh, she's gonna like a lot of this, but it, it ought to be interesting. Um. Baby, do you want to do this stuff first or the Mexican candy first? I'll we'll start with the box and then if we have time, we'll go on to the Mexican All right. Candy. So it looks like they sent, like, this one is more, they send you, like, more bulk stuff. So I have no idea what this is. It was supposed to come with some kind of instructions, or not instructions, but, like, a guide to what each of these things are. It didn't, and it was, like... Three months, not three months, like two months late or whatever. Like it was weird. Um, I have absolutely no idea what this is. It was made in the Netherlands, though, and it's called Napoleon. Uh. Okay, first impressions. It kind of. with. They kind of look like the root beer yeah, barrel that's things what I was gonna or say. something. I assume it's either gonna be like that or like some kind of caramely thing. They're gluten. Free, vegan, and that. <laughs> yeah, that's something else. Um, they're both the same kind, though. So, so they just sent two big one. bags. Um, has no discernible smell at all. I believe it's caramelized. It's sour, like on my tongue. Is it just on my tongue? Yes. I don't love it. I hate that. I hate that. No. It's not bad. It's really not bad. It's terrible. It gets weirder. I have no idea what this flavor is. Not a fan. I think it's salty. Oh, it has a it has something in the center of it. If y'all can see that there, apparently it's got some kind of okay. Oh. Oh. You don't know either. You don't want to say it. It's so good. It's horrible. <laughs> it's so salty in your mouth. <laughs> what? Oh! Mm. Oh! Mm -mm. <laughs> oh! I think you're supposed to get to that slowly. Oh my good god! I just think it's gross overall. It's so salty in the middle. See, but I felt the and salt like weird. immediately when I put it on my tongue. Alright, get rid of that. I don't want that hate in my life anymore. The outside wasn't that bad, but whatever that was, was terrible. Oh, babe, okay, so I do believe that, so I just looked it up to see uh, it online. Oh, well, of you know, course, stupid ass. Right. But to look it up online, and it does, this is caramel, and it says Napoleon. This is what it, I think this is it. Ingredients are... I don't know. I don't know, but it's got some salty middle in it. It's supposed to be some, like, dark caramely thing, but it, it's awful. Yeah, it's terrible. Next. But we have two bags of that, so if anyone wants one, <laughs> Yeah, you're I'm more than welcome to have it. Some lemon fettuccine gummy thing. It's j Japanese, so I imagine the lemon flavor is probably going to be pretty strong, and I love lemon things. So it's just some kind of lemon gummy made with real fruit juice. Wow. I feel like anyone can put that on their stuff now. Oh, 
Oh, these are delicious. It tastes like real lemon. Like, you yeah, know, this is delicious. Real lemon is a stretch. It tastes no, it like tastes real like, it tastes artificial like, lemon. No, it tastes like lemon peel. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. Maybe. Maybe. I've never had it. Anyway. It's good. Um, okay, so the next thing, it's supposed to be... Popcorn truffles? Yeah, truffles? Truffy's pop, Popcorn Truffles, but um, it got really melted. <sighs> so it's actually just a, a popcorn brick. No. So we're just going to take a bite out of the brick, I guess. <laughs> but it's made in France. So let's see how that goes. Um, yeah, it, it's it's a hot, big, melted mess. Here, just get you by that. Not a dark chocolate fan, and not a fan of that. That's a lot of chocolate. But compared it, to the amount of popcorn, I feel like. Yeah, it's it's very heavy on the chocolate, and it's also a relatively dark chocolate. Are immediately the thing that I can compare it to is the same kind of chocolate, like the cocoa powder that's on um, those like skinny dipped um, yeah. almonds. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very dark. I give that one a two out of five. I like it. I think it's good. So he's more like a three out of five. I'll give it a three out of five. These are a four out of five. It's just a Zero one. Out of five. It's just a one. Zero. No like. Um. Okay, oh, these, are, these are just pitted dates. Um, let's Which, see where this is from. I guess that fits into, like, snacks, but... Algeria packed in Turkey. All right. Um, I mean, they're just dates, so... I mean, if you ever had a date... It's uh, organic pitted dates, non-GMO. I mean, Gluten they're... Gluten-free, no sugar added, good source of fiber, and nut-free. Yeah, I mean, they're good. They're dates. I'm not eating them. I like dates. Um, okay, one out of five, babe. Oh, two? It's a date. <laughs> it's, it's a, a date. date. <laughs> like, Chargo bon. So I'm from Brazil, and we have things called bonbons that are like chocolate, and like they're so good. So I thought these might be similar. Well, these are a product of India. But I'm just... they are wafer balls. Yes, that's what bonbons with, are. Yeah, but I like it how it says vegetable fat coating. <laughs> and then what is the next thing that it says? I don't bonbons. know. Bonbons. Honey, I get that. But it's, it, I like it how they literally say vegetable fat coating. <laughs> that's a good selling point in my opinion. I think they're Are all, they all the same? Yeah, they're all the same. They're also kind of melted, but luckily these are individually packed, so they ought to be a little bit better. Oh, yeah. These look way better. They're good. Obviously. They're bomb bomb. Um, if you don't know what they'd be like, I mean, Ferrero Rocher-esque. I mean, they're just bonbons. Okay. The chocolate's decent. It's nothing special. Uh, this is just a Walker's Pure Butter Shortbread Cookie. Um, this is English. We're gonna try it because we're fat F word. It's a plain butter cookie. You eat it with like tea or something like that. I mean, you can go with coffee if you drink coffee. I don't. And the last two things in here are both classic masala and then magic masala um, instant noodles. And as much as I would like to do that right now, His that's a lot of would not. a lot of effort. 
And I think I'm going to, at some point, make a video where I get a whole bunch of different types of like ramen and instant noodles. And I'm just gonna try a bunch of those. I would like to see a video where he tries to like make it better though. So like he tries to add stuff to it to make it a like, fancier ramen with like the non-fancy noodles. I don't know anything about masala noodles, but we're gonna try stuff sometime. And that ramen. I love you. Um, yeah, and that's for this international box. Like I said, the things come in kind of like bulk you just in that dump thing. Dump the Mexican candy in here, so you can keep picking it out without having to dump the whole bag out. If we're gonna be honest, it's probably easier to move things out of this and use this as a trash box. I like that box though. Well, it's just a box. I like the this. Yeah, keeping the box is what I'm saying. Here. Okay. You can put your trash up here. This is trash. And this is quite literally just a giant Mexican candy. We can candy use the bag mix. for trash. All okay. good. Thank you. So I'm just going to pour all of it in there, and we're going to see how that goes. Now, already I see all kinds of fun things. Things that I've seen plenty of times from like other people trying them, but I've never really delved into Mexican candy really at all. Um, I know a lot of things are like tamarind, like Ooh. this. I've had these before. This is like really popular with, you know, like the kind of flavoring that this is. Okay, let's just do one on tap, baby. All right, start with a classic. Okay. Poparindo. You, uh, you aren't going to eat this, bro. <laughs> it's a, if I am correct, it's basically like a, a salty, chili, gummy thing. It's quite good. I'm so glad you enjoy it. I can promise you without a doubt. That I will hate it. You will hate this. <laughs> you want to try? No, thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, I want to do the marshmallow. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking. I'm a big marshmallow chocolate girl. This marshmallow chocolate pop, it's marshmallow on a stick with chocolate on it. Oh. No. Oh, God. I'm going to have to wash this table after you. Here. Mm. It's so unimpressive, but it's just really cheap chocolate and really cheap marshmallow smush together. It's good. I give it a two. <laughs> Not impressive. Three. This is like a three. It's, it's cool. It's, I enjoy it in a way that it's like very different from something that I'm used to like eating for like a candy or like a snack, but it's not something I would go out of my way to eat. Super Pina Loco, crazy pineapple. Mm -hmm. So this is a- A lollipop, so it's all him. It's a chili flavored pineapple lollipop. Or more specifically, it's a pineapple flavored lollipop with chili in and on it. Mm. One out of five. Very pina colada y. What about the chili? Is it like really prominent? No, you can see that it's got like it's, it's all like a, yeah. It's, it's, like, it's got like there's lumps of yeah. just the, all the chili went to one side of this thing. Um, imagine a pina colada sucker. Um, if you put like um, tahini on it, that's more or less what it is. It's not bad Gosh. by any means. It's just not really impressive. This, I if this is anything besides like a cherry <laughs> or a strawberry sucker, this is like plain, like you were a good boy but at the like, doctor. Yeah, <laughs> the doctor get a or candy like, on the way out. Or like you're. You know, getting like that two cent candy out of some like machine. Nothing's two cents anymore. 
That they will charge you twenty five cents for that, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Basic ass like hard candy lollipop. If you try to put that in my mouth, I'll puke. Throw it away. It yeah. comes there. <laughs> um, that's whatever. You guys have all tried that. Okay, now it's my turn. Ew, I don't think I want that. Oh come on, Luisa. Yeah, no. Probably not. So fun fact. I picked the best person in the world to do this Mexican candy stuff with because she hates, like, anything spicy. And almost all Mexican candy, for some reason, has chili in it. Now, I enjoy things like that. Like this, normally, she would love this. It's a strawberry sucker. That's something she would normally like. Does it have the chili? Yeah. It, it says chileta fresca. Yeah. Or fresa. So, I'm going to assume this is chili strawberry but also i don't want to eat a sucker after him so like this is kind of like whatever to be fair yeah th there you these go. like two cent suckers there's like a fleet of them <laughs> and you want a sucker <laughs> thank you mm. you'd like this one here try this okay this one's strawberry and raspberry and it's just you know Cute little sucker. I don't think this has any chili or anything in it. So, that one's all you, honey. Thanks, honey bun. See, the problem with this, though, is that a lot of times with these, they put the chili and stuff. It's, like, buried deep inside of this sucker. And so, you don't even immediately get any of the chili. Okay. It's... Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, go ahead. Not only does this taste really good, but, like, my ADHD, like, compulsive disorder loves the ridges and stuff on my tongue. Like, I'm just gonna... <laughs> like, it's like a fidget, fidget sucker. <laughs> it's a thick boy, too. I mean, if you can see the babe, like, compared to, like, these little things. Like, look at that. Thick. All right, so this is pretty good, but it's strawberry sucker with a little bit of chili flavor on it. One out of five? Two, <laughs> on a ranking of suckers, a three, maybe. It's better this than the really other good. suckers. Got another one of these. What is this? Is what, baby? Where's the other pooper in there? Oh, dang. It's that right up, Well, because this one, um, I'm not sure if this one, I believe this one says extra spicy. And so I'm not sure if the other one was also extra spicy or not. No, it definitely was not. Original. That's original. So this is the extra spicy one. So the other one has a little bit of kick to it. Oh, you can tell a difference in it. <laughs> this looks like you poured some like gummy caramel it looks just like you put into a thing of like tahini or something, and yeah, like just like leather. that's you put fruit leather into. It does taste a little bit different than the other one. And it immediately hit the back of my throat because I swallowed oh, it. Do you have some new drink? Yeah. Yeah, iced tea. Um, it's iced tea. It's fine. The idea of tea with chili. <laughs> um, I actually like the flavor of this one better. I don't think it's supposed to be really any different, but I think it tastes a little bit better. Personally. What is this? Um, chili ball of some kind, I believe. I want to find something that you can try in here. Oh, oh another one. Here you go. This is a cherry strawberry lollipop. <laughs> and it's a swaggy little high five, man, with sunglasses. Baby. The same thing as this. No, that one's not. Uh, that one's not a hand man. Oh, See, it's a... this one's a hand man. Okay, what's this one? It's just <laughs> like a. He's just a chill dude, bro. Okay, I'm not gonna open this because I want it for later. But it's the same thing. Um, I've already had the pineapple crazy sucker. This is all just a big ass mix assortment, so we're gonna have to go through this. Ooh, on the same train, but this one's. Watermelon flavor. What's the chili? Like, well, it's the same. It original it, or just watermelon? No, it's just, okay. I assume it's the original one, but it's watermelon flavored. 
So I assume it's going to be like some kind of like tamarind. Oh, this like, is something he might like. It's like um, a push pop. Not a push pop. Push pop size cream, right? Um. What's the candy that it's kind of like this? But this is you. This is this is good. All I guess. This is a it's lollipop with, with chili. chili. Lollipop with chili. You like stick it in like you would for. The oh bottle. yeah, it's like a baby bottle pop. Push pop. It's still a push pop thing. I don't remember. Yeah, you just press the bottom of it. Mm. This, I believe, is like a... Ugh. It's sh uh, sweet enchilada. Oh, yeah. It's it, No, it's the tamarind, though. It's the it's the same sh shit as, like, the um, the other stuff, except you, like, squeeze it out. Yeah. Ew. Um, I don't know what this is. This is just salt and lemon powder. Uh... Put it in water? I don't know. No, I imagine you just eat it or you put it on maybe like a sucker or something like this. I'm not entirely sure if I'm being completely honest, but it's just a packet of salt and lemon. So, uh, why not? It, I, no. Honey, it's for, you just gotta... kind of nice it's just citrusy salt it's pleasant i don't know if you're supposed to put that on one of those basic ass suckers or what um oh are these like little like chiclet gum things yes okay you got peppermint spearmint what the hell is violet flavor grape i don't know <laughs> i don't know it, it'd be like instead of grape you can just name it burble yeah, maybe. It smells like it. Grape. It tastes like flowers. It's gross, but I believe it's grape. It tastes too florally. It tastes like you're eating some kind of weird lavender gum. It's gross. It's One. So bad. It's terrible. Worst thing ever. Three for crappy gum. <laughs> uh, she already had this thing. It's the same sucker. Ooh. It's a big chili mango. Chili mango sucker. Once again, this is... There's two of them, baby, if you want to have some of that. No, thanks. Yeah, I mean, if you if you like this kind of stuff, you know, like the the chili with like fruit kind of thing. If you're into any of that, a lot of this stuff's pretty good. Like, I like a lot of this. And they give like duplicates, so like if you really like something, you would get mm -hmm. more than one of them. There's like, I think there's basically two of everything. And that's why I'm having to like sift through some of these, so we don't get a lot of these duplicates in here. Ew, <laughs> that smells disgusting. What is it? It's a water. It looks like a watermelon. Tru is it tru chorizo? <laughs> chorizo sausage. Chorizo. Uh, it's it's. Keep moving. It's a chili watermelon candy. Hard candy. Everything is just covered in chilies. Yeah. Um. It smells pretty good. Uh, yeah. This thing, pretty decent. Um. So far, kind of lacking on the mango flavor. That might be because the outside is so coated in the chili stuff. I haven't really worked into it. But it's not bad. One out of five. Three in comparison to the other suckers. It's not bad. La Rosa? Another little sucker. Oh, I suck her. Oh, I like that. It's literally like a dum dum sucker. It's much bigger than a dum dum. Have you seen how small dum dums are now? That's actually not bad at all. Oh, I can't open I got a lot more stuff to try than you do. Yeah, that's okay. All right. Save you the calories. Getting getting back to the uh, watermelon chili hard candy. 
Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm just chewing this. You can see the watermelon stuff in there. Yeah, it's like salty, chili, watermelon. The same nice. as like the other stuff. Not bad at all. Carmelo something de leche. So this is just like a little mm -hmm. caramel. Oh, it's like a little like Werther's -y type caramel candy, I believe. It shouldn't be bad. It's a butterscotch flavor. This? It's butterscotch. Um, <laughs> Do you hear me, baby? Yeah. Butterscotch. Lucas. Swinkles. <laughs> Swinkles. Salsketti. Because the packaging reminds me of Ike um, and Mike, Mike's. Mike and Ike's? Yeah. Yeah, it, it does have a Mike and Ike vibe, except it has like this weird, like, dark wing deck homie over here. Um, If I had to guess, because it's got a watermelon on it. It's and it says Salsketti. It's chili flavored watermelon gummy candy shaped like spaghetti. Oh! It comes with. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. It, it comes with like a packet of like sauce. So I assume this is going to be. <laughs> that is disgusting. It's not disgusting, probably. I imagine it's going to be very strange. This nice brown sauce that God, I on his gummy candy. candy. Oh yeah. I imagine that's not gonna be weird at all. I honestly don't know what even that is. Um It's not bad. It seems like a massive waste of time. Um, it's not great. The spaghetti stuff has kind of like the texture of like a Twizzlers, like a licorice, but uh, it's really lacking flavor. Like the other um, watermelony chili stuff has a much stronger taste. One like, out of five? A one. Oh, okay. Well, it's just bland. And the texture isn't great because I don't like Twizzlers. I never ate this thing I do. because I had one in there earlier. I believe it's like a little chili jawbreakery deal. It smells like a musty cabinet. Ew. Oh. I was wrong. I think it's gum. It's still like that salty chili kind of flavor. This one's not my favorite. I don't like it that much. We can get rid of those. Okay. That would not that good. If he spits it out, and automatically zero. It's not. It's not horrible. It's definitely a waste of my time and energy. He just nice to argue with me. Well, this is the pooperine, though. I believe There's these an are. There's L in there. Pooperine, though. Mm -hmm. Pulp. Pulp. Mm hmm. Okay. These are the same. They're just the watermelon things again. Pecanicus. Mango. No idea what exactly this is. Some kind of little mango candy. If I had to guess, it's probably a chili mango candy. Looks like a hard candy. Well, actually, it's kind of, it's kind of a fat boy. This is a big one. Very similar to everything else. It has the same kind of tamarindy, tahini, citrus spice. I have a whole fleet of these, like a massive assortment of them. 
Yeah. Baby, did you ever try this caramel one? Butterscotch, no. You try one of those. That one's not bad. It's just a hard candy. I can't be bothered to sit there and eat that the whole time. It literally tastes like butterscotch. Like, what's the little uh, yellow candies? Little butterscotch candies? Mm hmm. I don't exactly know. like it. Yeah. You know, it's good. It's just like a, yeah, a butterscotchy, caramely, dulce de leche little mm -hmm. caramel candy. Not bad. Rounding it out to the last, like, handful of things here that I found interesting, so I saved them. Yeah, those little caramely candies aren't bad. I think you'll like this, probably. Duvaline. Uh, I, it's like two flavored. I believe it's like strawberries and cream based off the back. And I'm pretty sure it's literally just going to be like icingy in texture. <laughs> I think. Okay. The packaging kind of hard to get into. Um, no way to eat it. It smells basically like, like some spoon. Uh, icing. Want to try that? No. Are you sure? Yeah. The little bumps in there are scaring me. Is it yogurt? No. It's icing. It's a package of like butter, creamy, strawberry and cream icing. It's quite literally like all it is. It's delicious, but it's also just icing. I mean, it's one of the better things. It's definitely just straight diabetes. Now this is an interesting design. I'm not entirely sure how this thing is supposed to function. Oh, oh, aha. Uh -huh. Now you push it at the top. Yeah, I know, but look bottom. at all the stuff that's like stuck up in there. Um, yeah. I don't it, think you're missing anything. You see if I can. Oh! I'm pretty sure that's from when you squeezed it through the plastic. Let's see if I can get that for you. Ah, you're weak. It's really hard to grab so that they can see it. I, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> yeah, a lot of effort. For mediocre? Yogurt. Mediocre. Oh. Yeah, so just eat the pooperinto. <laughs> this is very similar. This is a little bit sweeter. The... Um, I don't know if I have one over here somewhere. Um, the, like, the the fruit leathery kind of, like, version of this, the pulverine dough. They have multiple kinds. It's very similar in taste. Um, this is sweeter, so this is probably a little bit more just straight up kid friendly, but the other one's better. It's a little bit spicier. It's a little bit it saltier. I would hard to believe your child could do that on its own, though, just considering... Well, I don't also know. Maybe this thing's just, like, old and, like, That's hard to true. use or something Maybe like that. it also melted, so it became a weird... And I think you're also thing. supposed to... It makes it, like, so you don't just gob it all down. It's kind of, like, hard. You're supposed to, like, push out a little bit and, like, lick it and stuff like that. Um, shocking, it's actually not bad. Two, three, four, five. Um, I give it, like, a three. A low three. The pulperine though normal. So two and a half. Is like a, it's also like a low three, but on a different spectrum. And then the extra spicy pulperine though is like a high three, like a 3.8. Still not quite a four because it's weird, but not bad. You're adorable. Duh. Um, this is also the same as Lucas brand as that like one other thing I just had. I never ate this. We had it out here. Um, it's, it's like the, the push poppy looking thing. It's the sauce. Oh, baby. the spaghetti thing, yeah. Yeah. 
she? Chamoy. I don't know what chamoy flavoring exactly is, mm -hmm. but it's a chamoy lollipop with chili dip stuff. But, uh, we're going to try that now. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, baby bottle pop esque. Chamoy is a variety of savory sauces and condiments in Mexican cuisine made from pickled fruit. Hmm. Its flavor is salty, sweet, sour, and spiced with chili. It's, me going like that isn't from the taste. Me going like that is because it's very powdery and it went up my nose. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, it's fruity, sour, and it's got a whole bunch of this powder in here, and it's basically like a Mexican baby bottle pop. <laughs> I keep getting dust. <coughs> it's actually fire. Five out of five? Mm-mm. Four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this, this is like one of the better suckers, too. Let's see. Oh. What? I'm just getting down to the bottom of this lollipop. Is There's that... gum. There's gum in there. I was like, what is that? It's like hurting me because it's like against my tongue. This is actually delicious. I like this one. This one's good. And then the last one, which I know for a fact you won't eat. Is chili four layers and gum center lollipop. And so glad you know me, babe. <laughs> it's spicy, no. And are you keeping this? Four layer, no, absolutely. Want to keep no. any of these or all? Uh, some of the little ones I'll keep. Okay. But it's supposed to be like I assume an extra spicy like chili lollipop. It says four chili layers. I don't know if that means that each one. Is yeah, it different, is like, chili flavor? Yeah. I just swallowed it because it's gross. And I also don't know how hot it's supposed to be. It's a big boy. Ooh! That's a big sucker. That's like, a, what's the other one? That's the big one. A blow pop? Yeah. Where's, like, one of those, the small dumb dummy suckers that you just had? But anyway, here, I, I can compare it to, like, one of these. Like, this is a fat boy. Like, it is thick. So we'll try this. Cleanse my palate with some Milo's tea. Oh, God. Yeah, it's it's much, much bigger. Are you keeping this, baby? Mm-mm. Keeping this? Yeah, I want this one. That one, that one, that one's good. We'll keep on it. We'll hold on to that one. Um, the flavor on this so far is actually pretty damn good. It's way less abrasively salty than a lot of the other things. The salt is like very mild on this one in comparison to like pulperindo or however you say that Pulperindo. properly. Pulperindo, you're correct. Yeah, I mean, this tastes really good. It says four layers, so I'm intrigued to see whether or not the different layers are, like, actually different. And there's gum in it. But I also don't really want to eat this whole damn sucker. Yeah, he, well, he likes gum, but he likes, like, the fresh gum. Like, he's fancy with his gum. I'm trying to bite it to see the different layers. But it's very hard. However... It's definitely really green in there. So there's definitely a lot of different layers. Like, it's a multi-layered... Um, Do I try to cut like, it? Gobs oh, God, no. I'm, like, slicing. <laughs> there's no way you're slicing this thing. Not even with a knife? No. Are you weak? You could break it, but you're not going to slice well, it. You break it. Who's going to slice a hard candy? Strong man? Ah! And woman. Strong man or woman. Oh! There wow. you go. Yeah, look at that. It's got multiple layers of, like, gum and stuff in it. But also, yeah, it's got 
like a green. I don't know if they're actually different flavor. This tastes like pudding. Because it doesn't taste like it. <laughs> it tastes like pudding? Yeah. What is it? What is everything? Don't know. I don't. I don't think there's a drastically different flavor for each of those. It's terrible on your teeth, my love. <laughs> I'm not going to eat them. <laughs> He's. <dead. laughs> Honestly, out of the suckers, though, this I'll give this number two. The whole gum thing, the gum is like weirdly layered with like different stuff, so it's kind of awkward. This thing was my favorite one, the chamoy flavored like baby bottle pop. That one's fire. I really liked it. And we have a Why'd you get it a four then? What about it was like lost a point? This? Yeah. Because it's like out of everything else it's like the best, but it's oh, okay. it's not I'll say it's not like the most amazing thing I've ever had. Really oh, like these. I take it. This is the best thing out of anything we had. <laughs> just because I love lemon stuff. Let's eat the dates, baby. And the, the gummy texture on this is actually really good. I enjoy it a lot. This shit. Anybody that wants to try this stuff, you're more than welcome. Because I don't want this garbage in my I apologize if you love this. But it's ass. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have his friends over soon, and I'm gonna enjoy Ew. making them try. Oh, yeah, I can I can force a bunch of people to eat some of this stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This this was my favorite. The the chocolate little bonbon things yeah. were obviously good. Um, the extra spicy pulperine though, I really liked. Um, was the blue raspberry sucker good? Very good. I really. In liked comparison it. to some of the other ones. Uh, a lot of the candies, like the watermelon one, I really like the watermelon flavored, like pulperino candies. The gums are so silly because they're so like little teeny tiny. Yeah, so, they're like, like little chiclet gums, like they're but they put them in like little tiny packages. Uh, this, whatever this okay, icingy stuff was, the top's gone. He keeps forgetting that I want the box. Oh yeah, I keep throwing trash in it. Whoops. But, yeah, out of everything, this was the best. The only thing that we didn't get around to trying out of all of it were these two. And, and like I said, I am going to make a separate video sometime of trying a bunch of different instant noodles. And um, not just ramen, like instant ramen. Like, these are both masala. These are both, like, Indian. So, we will try these in a different video. Not, I will get that not, out to you guys. Not me and him, we. Oh, no. I and you guys will try this in a different video because she's not going to eat most of this stuff. And I'm also going to get a bunch of like spicy ass ramen and maybe some like tapoki and stuff like that, which is like the Korean like rice cakey I'm hoping stuff. to get um, Garrett, who is his sister's boyfriend, to try it with him because I feel like he might like some of that stuff. Uh, yeah, I could actually get that. I have a couple other people if I get some really spicy stuff that might be into some of that stuff. Because, like, Ty really likes spicy shit. So if oh, I get a bunch Ty of different... If I get a bunch of different ones of these and other ramens, we'll try that out. But, yeah, for now, this was kind of fun. Um, the international stuff, like, I wish they didn't send... What? Kind of fun. I am offended. I was here. It was so much fun. <laughs> This shit's horrible. The international box itself, I liked almost everything in it. I have a strong feeling these are going to be very good. But whatever this stuff is, I no bueno. I, I, no bueno. We don't count calories over here and no one should feel bad. But I just want to like show that this package, this small package, is 300 calories. Yeah, and most instant ramen, like if you eat the whole pack, is like three to 400 crazy, calories. So yeah. It's so small. Yeah, but it's just carbs. Anyway, thank you guys for coming and checking this out. We'll I'll have you back again sometime soon, hopefully, to try a bunch of random ass ramens. And maybe I'll get some really, really spicy shit and you'll see me cry. So, there's that. You can look forward to that. How do I end this shit?